Okay, guys, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to an emergency repair that I had to do, and I thought that um, it would be useful for you. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm taking off here in just a second. I'm basically just using a, a socket and a crescent wrench to loosen the bolt on this item. And what it has to do with is on this 6.5 liter diesel, this is on my 99 Suburban, um, I had some time ago before I started recording stuff on YouTube, I had re relocated the uh, pump mounted driver for the injection pump into the front bumper here uh, right next to this air intake uh, to get more life out of it and it started to kind of have its usual problems where you get where the engine stalls on you which is a symptom of it dying and I keep one of these in the truck as an emergency just for those kind of situations and I had to change it out and I'm going to show you today how to get the resistor out of this but I'm going to take the whole thing off and kind of describe what I got here. Just give me a sec. Get this bolt loose. There we go. Sorry. All right. So basically, um, what we've done is I've taken the guy that normally mounts on the side of the injection pump under the hood attached to the engine, and there's a kit you can get to run an extension harness uh, to run from the, the harness that goes to the injection pump and route it up to here. And that's what, what I've done here. And I've um, also, at some point previous to doing these videos, I had did the upgrade on the injection pump to handle this upgraded type of Stanodyne um, um, pump mounted driver, the part number 39405. And I, I run with that particular one. So it has a different kind of connection and a different kind of uh, resistor inside. So I don't know if you can see inside here, but there's normally a resistor that sits in here. And, and there's a different one that's calibrated at the factory at the time your vehicle was originally put together and they don't come with one, so you have to transfer them from the old one. So, the deal is, you know, you, you pick up a part like this, and it'll have a replacement one. This one, of course, is the old one. And it'll come with a, a set of new screws. And so, guys here, come with a set of new screws that go in with the Torx bit, and it'll come with a new insulator pad that you use between the pump-mounted driver itself and the heat sink, or normally it would go against the ejection pump itself. And with this kind of relocation kit, I, I get a much longer life on these things. I get close to three years in most cases, but they still eventually go out even with this. And uh, you know, this guy, what it is, is there's a tremendous amount of heat generated from these two transistors, and eventually the, the heat from the device's own poor design uh, eventually fries the internal electronics. What I'm after today, to finish this video, is this guy that sits inside the pins that is called a resistor pack. And I, I hope you can see inside here. If not, um, I might have to go get a flashlight and just see if it can show up just enough on the camera here. Maybe not. Let me, uh, let me pause this and get a flashlight because this is important for you to see. All right, so now uh, hopefully you can see this. Uh, there's a, there's a, a, a little green printed circuit board kind of a uh, shape sitting inside here. And on the very edge of it, right there, there's a hole. Right there's a hole. And what you can do, I won't be able to hold the, uh, the flashlight at the same time. What you can do is you can take a pick. I'm using like a dental pick type device, something like this, or something like this, or even in a pinch, a, a paper clip built, uh, bent the right way. And you can get it into these holes and just kind of work it out. Very slowly. And then that's, this is basically the resistor pack. So on the back of this, there's a surface mount resistor, and there's several uh, different values that you can get from Stanodyne, and they've been calibrated to fit uh, whatever your, your original injection pump was calibrated for. And so I, you, you have to transfer them to the new the new pump when you put a, a new pump excuse me to the new pump mounted driver when you put a new one in. So they're they're they got little um, shapes on each side, so they only go in one way. So you can't get it wrong. So basically put this guy in like this, get him lined up on the pins, and you just have to push it in a little bit. It'll go in the rest of the way when you actually put the connector in. And then in the kit, you should have gotten some um, waterproofing dielectric grease. And when you read the instructions in the kit, it'll tell you to put this inside the connection. So I'm gonna work some of this out. 
kind of like a um, bluish clear kind of gel looking material. And what I have to do is I just like to put a little worm of it inside here. And then take the same tool that I used to get this out and just kind of work it down onto the pins. This is basically just to protect from corrosion and to protect from water intrusion. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the connector itself. And then I'm going to reconnect it. And you might have to push a little bit harder to get that resistor pack to seat. So just push it in, take it out, until it clicks. At that point, we're nice and snug. Make sure from my parking lot repair yesterday that these guys are all nice and snug into this uh, aftermarket heat sink that I've got. All right, and so then the, the uh, arrangement I've got with this, so you can pick up these kind of heat sinks on eBay. You can pick up these uh, extension harnesses, and you can actually pick up uh, these replacement Stanodyne um, pump out of driver kits. And then I'm just going to show you, you get a little instruction back here, and they will walk you through uh, how to apply that, that, that um, lubricant that I was talking about. And I'll also show you the part numbers for the other conversion items. So like this top part number from Stanodyne, uh, 39439. This is an actual harness that goes on the injection pump itself and allows you to convert from the, the older design uh, factory supplied pump mounted driver to this new improved pump mounted driver that is more robust and lasts longer. And they give you the pump mounted driver part number here as well, 39405. Again, these are Stanodyne part numbers. That heat transfer pad that I was mentioning as well, just kind of taking this stuff back out of the box here. This guy here, that you've got to absolutely have one of these sitting between the PMD and the heat sink or between the PMD and the injection pump if you keep it in the original factory location. They give you the part number for that. Those four screws I showed earlier, and then of course the lubricant that we just put on. So um, hopefully these part numbers will help you out if you go to your Standardine dealer or to find these things on eBay. And then what I've done is just kind of like the, the non-factory uh, deal here to get it to um, be mounted. Uh, I'm, I'm just using a, a bolt that I've chosen to run through the front license plate um, uh, bracket that connects to the bumper. And then I've purchased a spacer, a one inch spacer for at uh, Home Depot. And, and basically the deal with this is what I'm looking to accomplish is I'm looking to have a spacer that's just a little bit longer than the PMD itself so that when I bolt all this down, and of course on the other side what I've got is I've got a washer here, I've got a washer, a lock washer, and a nut on the back side. I'm going to have it sitting right behind the license plate bracket so that plenty of air can circulate in here across these cooling fins, and that's how you get the longer life out of it. So again, I, mean, I hope this helps you out for how to replace these resistors and the importance of them and give you a little bit of a point of view on how the assembly of something like this might go. If you've got any questions about how to do an upgrade like this, I'm happy to answer them in the comments. And if this helps you out, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.